Have you ever found yourself hanging on to things that you should have gotten rid of a long time ago? Hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Taplin, owner of Chrysalis Wellness Coaching, and I'd like to share something that I have that I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. When my mom passed away over 10 years ago, my sister went through the house and my mom still had this. <laughs> now, when I was seven, and my last name is Jan Gertz, that was such a cool thing to carry my books in and now <laughs> I still have this thing and it it's yeah I could still use it but wouldn't I look fancy carrying that around my new briefcase so why do we hang on to things that really just don't serve us anymore well here's the things that I go through oh it's so cute and I had it when I was a little kid and it's got memories and I just don't want to depart with it. Well, it's a material thing and the memories are in my mind. Not anywhere else but in my mind. And even when I look at it and feel it, the memories of when I was in grade school are still in my head, not inside this bag. If you are like me, you probably also say things to yourself like, I don't want this to go into a landfill. And what on earth? I suppose I could tear it apart and recycle the metal and then maybe just throw the bag away. But I just feel bad about putting that into the recycle, or not recycling, but into a landfill. So I hold on to it. But it's not now in a landfill, it's in my home, which is full of a lot of junk. So I don't know, is it better to have it laying in my home, junking up my home, or in a landfill somewhere? I'm not advocating for filling up landfills by any means. But we talk ourselves into holding on to things. And one of the things that I had suggested to a friend of mine who was struggling with getting rid of some things, I asked, is what is inside that box, for example, if you've got a box that you haven't looked in for five years, and now you think you need to go through the whole thing and sort out what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of, is there really anything in that box that could be more important than the people in your life. Let's say your grandchildren or great-grandchildren or your spouse. Is there something that could be in that box that could be more important than any of those people? And if the answer is yes, then by all means, I guess, go through that box. But if you can't think of anything that could possibly be in that box that had more value to you than the people in your life that you love, then just Donate the whole box to someone or something, a charity that might be able to use it. I hope that that little tip is helpful for you when you're deciding whether to get rid of something or not. Does it have more value than the people in my life? And chances are, there isn't any possession that is more valuable than the relationships that you have with the people in your life. And this has got to go. Thanks for watching. Dr. Jan Taplin, Chrysalis Wellness Coaching. If you would like more helpful videos like this one, fill out the form on my website, drjan.coach.